Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meer Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve practical sum from the topic income from long term capital gains. A very important topic for all the TYB com SEM 5 students. A very simple topic where you can easily score 10 to 15 marks. Okay, so let us see how to solve this particular topic. Okay, now this is the format for solving the sum based on long term capital gains. The sum will start with number one sales consideration that is the value at which you are going to sell your property in the previous year less brokerage or transfer fees any so you minus from your sales the brokerage you will get an answer as a net sale consideration now from net sale consideration number one you have to subtract something called as indexed cost of acquisition it means we need to find the cost price of the property if it would be purchased in the previous year. The formula is cost of acquisition into CII that is cost inflation index of previous year upon CII of the year of acquisition. So this is one formula, very simple formula. Uh, practically when you do it, it will be uh, having a bit more weightage. You'll understand very easily how, what is that formula all about. After subtracting index cost of acquisition, the next thing is less index cost of improvement. Again, the formula is similar. Cost of improvement into CI of previous year upon CI of year of improvement. Improvement means if you're doing any renovation on your property. So for that, you can ask for some um, exemption or you can say some deduction on the value of your sale. When you subtract your index cost of acquisition and improvement from your net sale consideration will get a first answer called a long term capital gain and if after that if there is any new purchase or new investment made we will subtract that also and the final answer what we will get will termed as long term capital gains very simple sum the four to five step the entire sum gets done now before solving the sum okay there are a few rules that we need to note down number one 2001 will be called as a base year if any house is purchased before 2001, do not consider that value. Consider the fair market value as on 1st April 2001. The improvement before any if before the year 2001 should be ignored. And most of the you know it said that the cost of acquisition will only be once in the question, but improvement can be multiple times. Okay, there can be more than one time where you can have your improvement in the sum. Okay, so those are the basic rules that has to be remembered. The, uh, the only thing what you need to know is the format is sale, less cost of acquisition, less cost of improvement gives you long term capital gain. Less new purchase will again give you your final answer as net long term capital gain. Chalo, now let us see how to use this format into any sum, any kind of sum that will be given in the exam. Okay, now let us see how we solve the sum. We go through the question first. Uh, Mr. Raj acquired the house property on 1st March 92 for rupees 2 lakhs. The fair market value as on 1st April 2001 was 2 lakh 40 thousand. The cost of improvement made are as follows. They are giving you 4 improvement 94, 95, 2006, 7, 15, 16 and 16, 17. He sold the house for 1 crore 80 lakhs on 25th Jan 2022. That is our previous year. He acquired new house in the previous year for 58 lakhs. He invested rupees 15 lakhs in bonds in the previous year and there were some transfer expenses of rupees 75,000. The question has given that you need to compute the long term capital gain for the assessment year 22-23. The CII are given for various years. that's nothing but the cost inflation index. Now let us see how to solve this particular question. Okay, First the name, we will note the name as Mr. Raj, his status is he is an individual. The previous year will always be 2021-22 and assessment year will always be 22-23. Computation of long term capital gain particular amount. The sum will always start with sales consideration. How much are you selling your property for? So it's given here he sold the house for 1 crore 80 lakhs. So that's 1 crore 80 lakhs less brokerage or transfer charges so here our brokerage is given here the transfer expenses was 75,000 so 
so we are going to less 75,000 and that amount what we will get will be known as net sales consideration so that will come to 1 crore 79 lakh 25,000 okay after this our first step is less indexed cost of im of acquisition acquisition mean purchase okay so now let us see how to calculate that the formula is very simple cost of acquisition is how much you have purchased for is given here you had the mr raj had acquired the property in for rupees 2 lakhs in 92 now the rule was if a property is there before 2001 we cannot take that value we'll have to always take the fair market value as on 1st april 2001 which was rupees 2 lakh 40000 so our cost of acquisition is 2 lakh 40000 into we have CII of the previous year. Now previous year was 21-22. So the CII will come to the CII table. We can see it's 317. So 317 upon CII of the year of acquisition. Now this amount was taken from the year 2001. So 2001 ka rate was 100. So now you multiply and you divide. And that value will be known as our cost of acquisition. Which comes to. Okay, that value will be 7,60,800 that's the first part next less indexed cost of improvement improvement is all the you know renovation that have been taking place on your property now rule is before 2001 we cannot take that we have to ignore that so I can see your improvements are given so this is before 2001 ignore it We'll take the first that is for the year 2006 and 7. Improvement is 120,000. The rule is into CI of the previous year, which is 317, upon the improvement of the year in which it was taken. This is 2006 7. 6 7 car rate was 122. So you divide and you multiply and divide, and you will get your value as 3,11,803 same way second improvement it was 4 lakhs into CI of the previous year which is fixed 317 upon the year of CIA was 1516 the 1516 was it was 254 so the value will come approximately 4 lakh 99,213 and third we have 3 lakh 80,000 into 317 upon this is of 1617 the rate is 264 so the value will be approximately 4 like 56288 you subtract them all and you will get a first answer that will be known as long term capital gain from the net sales it will be net sale less 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 remember from top to bottom each and every values will be less so the value that you should have got would be So it would be 1 crore 58 lakh 96,896. This is known as long term capital gain. From this, we will less new purchases. I can see here is given that he purchased a new house. So new house, which is 58 lakhs. And new investment, if any. So you are saying new investment in bond. I can see here you have invested 1 lakh 15 lakhs in bonds so we'll minus even that so from top to bottom the only thing what you'll have to do is subtract so from your long term capital gain when you subtract the other two values you will get a final net long term capital gain which comes to approximately will come to 85 like 96,896 so that is how we need to solve the sum which is based on long term capital gain so here we had cost of acquisition cost of improvement there were multiple and also we had something which was purchased and some, some amount which was invested 
this is how you need to solve the sum based on long term capital gain this was the first example we'll be doing another example also okay now let us see the next sum raj purchased a house on 25th 698 now this is before 2001 for 150000 he incurred expenses of rupees 150000 toward cost of improvement on 10 8 sorry 28 2003 The fair market value all as on first April 2001 was 8 lakhs. He sold the house in the previous year for 95 lakhs. He purchased a new house for rupees 2 lakh 50 thousand on 20th March 2022. Uh, we'll make this as 25 lakhs. We'll keep this as this. This is 25 lakhs. And the CIF for 2001-2 is 100, 2003-4 is 109, and for 21-22 is 317. Compute the long-term capital gain. So again, name we'll write it as Mr. Raj. Status is individual. The previous year will be 21-22, and assessment year will be 22-23. Some will always start with sales consideration. That is what is the amount at which you are selling your house. So here it is given that the house was sold for ninety five lakhs. Less brokerage or transfer charges. Now in this sum, I we went through the sum, but we didn't see any transfer charges. So it's nil. So our net sale consideration. Will be ninety five lakhs. Now comes first less indexed cost of acquisition. Now index cost of acquisition may you will have to first take the value of your property. Now you have purchased it for one lakh fifty, but that was in the year two thousand. So it was in the year ninety eight, which is not possible to be taken. So we we'll have to take the fair market value as on first April two thousand and one, which is eight lakhs into three one seven. That is by default because previous year the CI is always two hundred three hundred and seventeen for the year twenty one twenty two. Now this rate was taken, so the amount was taken in the year two thousand and one. So the rate is hundred. So we multiply, we divide, and we'll get the index cost of acquisition as twenty five lakh thirty six thousand less index cost of improvement. Again, this is for your renovation. So we can see that there's one improvement made in the year two thousand and three for one lakh fifty thousand. So that will be one lakh fifty thousand into three one seven upon two thousand and three. Car rate is one zero nine. Again, you multiply, you divide. Your value will be four lakh thirty six thousand two hundred and thirty nine. Now. There's only one improvement in the sum, so now we'll subtract from our net sale, and the value that we should get is our long-term capital gain. So 95 lakh minus both these values will come up to 1 lakh 65 lakh 27,761. From there, less any new purchase or investment. So we have purchased a new house. So less new house, which was twenty five lakh. So when you subtract, you will get a final answer as long term capital gain or net long term capital gain, which will be approximately forty lakh twenty seven thousand seven hundred and sixty one. So this is how we need to solve the sum based on long term capital gain. I hope everyone have understood.